What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a fantastic week and you're staying safe out there. Today's video is going to be a little bit more of like a ride along. I've got about four or five service calls scheduled for today. So I want to take you along with me and just kind of show you what, it's, what it looks like to operate a business by yourself. So welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. My name is Zach and I'm an owner and operator of an HVAC company based out of Nashville, Tennessee. I like to make these videos on service, installs, maintenance, basically anything to do with heating and air conditioning. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. For those of you who are interested in supporting the channel, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below for my Patreon account, go check it out. So the first service call that I have is a no cooling call here in town. It's about 15, 20 minutes away. The customer is saying that the refrigerant lines are starting to freeze up. So clearly we have an airflow issue or a refrigerant issue. Went ahead and told them to turn the system off, put the fan in the on position and check their air filter and I'll be there shortly. Let's go check it out. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. So I couldn't do too much filming because the customer was right there with me the whole time, so I didn't want to do any talking. I got a couple little clips there of what I was doing. So basically, it's a three and a half ton Nordine heat pump split system. Uh, it's got a pretty good size leak and I had to add three pounds to it. So um, they're, they're not wanting to do any repairs. They just want to go ahead and replace the unit. The unit's about 12 years old. So I'm going to be pricing them out for a run true split system. That's, that's in their budget and it should work out well for them. Well now I gotta head back to the house. I forgot my lunch this morning. So I'm gonna head to the house, grab the lunch, and then I'm headed to the next call, which is gonna be just a single system uh, cooling maintenance. So that shouldn't take too long. It's pretty easy to get to. But that's where I'm heading to now. Okay. Hi. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. What's up, guys? What you doing, huh? Look at that breakfast. Yummy. <laughs> what you got there, boy? <laughs> cheese. Yeah. Cheese. Say cheese. <laughs> cheese. Dad, Dad. Yeah. Cheese. Give me a boom. Thank you. <laughs> Boom. Bye, Dad. See you later, buddy. You only got it, kid. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Taylor. Boom. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, buddy. You're so sweet. Bye-bye. Alright, so I'm headed to the next call. This is gonna be a single system maintenance. A little cooling tune-up. Should go pretty quick. It's pretty easy access. So I'm gonna head on over there now, get that thing cleaned up, and head on to the next one.
Ooh, gotta love the rain. <sighs> Time to go to the next one. All right, I got that job knocked out. As you can tell, when it's raining like that, I don't really like to open up the outside panel to check the capacitor, contactor, you know, all the electrical. I know that job because I go there every six months. This past fall, I replaced the capacitor on that condensing unit, the dual capacitor, so I know it's good. <clears throat> I don't really like to take the chance of opening it up if I don't have to, so basically that job is just get it cleaned up, check the pressures, make sure everything's you know rolling smooth, and uh, call it down and get out of there. So. Especially with this rain, I'm just gonna do what I gotta do and get out. <clears throat> okay. So we have a short on the low voltage side. Let's see if we can find this short. Oh man, that was an absolute mess. So basically, we had a Goodman gas split system and it was blowing the secondary fuse every time the condenser would kick on, or try to kick on rather. So I put my little three amp little breaker in there and started hunting down a low voltage short. Checked everywhere, could not find any short but it was definitely popping every single time it called for cooling. Um, it was a crawl space home, a, an extremely low crawl space home. Half of it was really, really low. The other half was okay. I did my best crawling around, trying to find a short somewhere. Definitely wasn't outside, it wasn't inside. All the cable looked in perfect shape. Even in the crawl space, everywhere. But I could not find the short. Um, I, I literally disconnected the low bolt wiring outside so it wasn't connected to anything. And it would still blow the fuse as soon as it turned on. I disconnected the low voltage wiring at the furnace to where it was not running outside and then it would be just fine. It wouldn't blow the fuse. So I know, I know for sure it's in the cable going outside. I just don't know where, I can't find it. And part of the crawl space is more than likely where the short is, I'm assuming, is like a foot tall. I cannot crawl or belly back there. So I told the guy that we're just going to have to install a wireless transmitter basically for that condensing unit. And that way we don't have to worry about pulling a new wire or anything, he should be good to go. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do that today. I've got three other service calls now that I have to go to. He understands that I'm, I'm going to have to come back tomorrow and install that wireless setup. So, anyway, on, on top of that, it's been raining like crazy, getting soaking wet. It's been a fun day, to say the least. So, but I'm glad to be back in the truck, I'll tell you that much. I am now headed to the next service call. Um, it's actually an install that I did a couple weeks ago and they're saying that the condenser's not kicking on. So, I need to go out there and figure out what's going on with that. Somebody's in it's running. Shouldn't be running right now. So here is the contactor. Right now it's pulled in. It's all the way in. And it's welded shut. This is like a two week old unit with the contactor already welded shut.
So basically what happened, this system that I installed a few weeks ago froze up dramatically inside. So I come out here, the thermostat is turned off, the system is turned off, but the condenser is still running. So the first thing I do is I check voltage and I'm not getting any low voltage out here. It's not calling for cooling. Um, all the way to the contactor, there's no voltage. I remove the wires from the coil side on the contactor and it still runs. So the contactor is just stuck closed basically on a brand new system, which is not good at all. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put a new contactor in. I think this one's a little bit better designed than the one that's in there. Hopefully it'll do better. Um, but yeah, basically just gonna have to let it run and thaw out and then recheck everything once it's all, you know, cleared up. But you can see here, the water is just pouring out of the drain line right now. So anyway, I'm gonna get this contactor swapped out and then should be good to go for right now. They're gonna basically leave it turned off for a few hours and get it nice and thawed out. And then, uh, probably have to come back and check it or he's just going to keep an eye on it and see how it goes All right, so there you go. Um, pretty much a brand new system. Contactor already went bad. That kind of ticks me off. I, I don't like that stuff at all. You know what I mean? Like when, I'm, when I put in a new system for a customer and they're spending all that money and then it breaks down within a couple weeks. Uh, I just, I don't like that. Not too happy with that at all, but you know, it is what it is. So luckily the customer's, you know, really cool about it and not and he's not tripping on it too much so uh anyway it's just got to thaw out now and then i'll have to come back and just check recheck make sure everything else is good but i think everything's fine so it's all powered back up now i just got the fan running the on position should be good to go for today so now i'm just headed to my last call it's about 15 20 minutes away and i already know what's going on there that unit was froze up as well that's a repeat customer. It's a little low on refrigerant, so I gotta, I gotta go top that system off. Hopefully I can talk them into making the repair, getting that coil replaced. I already found the leak last year, and I gave them a quote on doing the repairs, but they never got back with me. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully this time around, they'll make a decision on a repair, and I'll just go from there, but we'll see when we get there. Right, so that wraps up that call. So I believe I came out last year on that system. It was low on refrigerant as well. And I found the indoor coil to be leaking. So I gave them a price, they never reached back out to me. I think it was towards the end of the summer. They have gas heat, so they didn't really do anything about it. But we're getting into the summer now and they already had the problem. So uh, I basically told them, hey, you're gonna have to get this repaired. It's probably not gonna last the whole summer, so. We are in the mix of getting that scheduled. So basically just topped it off for today. Got the superheat, you know, close enough. 
to where they will have some cooling until I can come back out and replace that coil. But anyway, that wraps up my day, guys. I hope you enjoyed running around with me on all the different calls that I went on today. Nothing too crazy, you know, a couple small things here and there, but you know, that's pretty much how it goes for me. You know, dealing with the rain was one thing today and then running all over the place just took a lot of time. But it all worked out. It's almost 4.30 and I got about an hour drive back to the house. So you can't complain with that. That wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, leave them down below. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.